evening, everybody. Welcome to your first turning point of February 2022. This is your terrific Tuesday, February the 1st, 2022. And episode 1, uh, 50, it's 2, I think. I think it's 52. I'll be sure to look it up before I go to it. Before I edit it, and I think, but I think it's episode 152. So, I think the last one was 151. So, but today is the start of a whole new month of February, and the the month of February looks like this. The daily devotionals are drawn from the current radio series Courage to Conquer. So, this is the Doctor uh, David Jeremiah puts these books out and his current series for this month is Courage to Conquer. So the weekend devotions, listen to this, offer four key reminders of how love conquers all. So the first weekend, this coming weekend is Love Conquers Death. So Love Conquers All, number one, is Love Conquers Death. Number two, Love conquers fear. Number three, love conquers hate. And the fourth one is love conquers rejection. Woohoo! That's, that's going to be some good weekend. It's going to be a good weekend series. So, it's good to look ahead and get ready for it. So, so if you're excited about the month, this month of February, smash that like button. Smash it good. Comment what you expect out of this month. What's your favorite part of February? I know most people are going to say Valentine's Day, but there may be something else that happens. A birthday or anniversary or whatever. So just comment that. So, But today we're going to be talking about I worry about everything. Starting with Psalm 37, 8, which we'll read in the recommended reading, Psalm 37, 1 through 8. Your turning point is from Francis Ridley Havigal from a chorus called Like a River Glorious, or a hymn. There is a footnote in the second sec, the second part of the devotion. There's a second section. It got some small little paragraphs, and it's the second paragraph that's a footnote. I'll get to that in And your reading is Leviticus 14 and 15. But if you're, but if you're, um, subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, share the video and channel with your family and friends and help me reach that 100 subscriber mark, hopefully by my birthday, which is two and a half months. You might as well say, two and a half months. Because 60 and then 76, that's 15 days, so that's two weeks. <laughs> It's a little over two weeks, so it's two and a half, so. So. Get on the ball, people. Get it done. Hopefully that other one will be popping up pretty, the other channel will be popping pretty soon. So. So. If you have your Bibles, turn to Psalms 37, verses 1 through 8. Give me just a second. My Bible's still shut up from 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 yesterday, IRL. Oh, there we go. Now I can get it open. Had one of my page things get caught. Uh -oh. I think a little piece of tape was put on that one. But Psalm 37. Psalm 37, 1 through 8. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like grass, and wither as the green herb. 
Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his fab faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your justice as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret because of him who prospers in his way. Because of the man who brings wicked schemes to pass, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret, it only causes harm. Do not fret, it only causes harm is the part they have up here at the top of the page. So, so it says, Phoebe Dynever Dynever D Y N E V O R grew up in the theater. Her father was a screenwriter, and she began acting in acting in childhood. Now she's famous. How does she feel about it? She says, "I don't think anyone knows how to handle that." She told a reporter. So I worry about everything. I'm full of anxiety. I have fear of failure, letting someone down, contradicting myself. That is the footnote right there. Put out by Lydia Slater. L-Y-D-I-A-S-L-A-T-E-R Slater. Type the from the title Phoebe Dynaver on Feminism, Faking Confidence and the Pressures of Sudden Fame was the title of the her article. From the Harper's Bazaar, October 6, 2021. So that just happened in October. That article. So. But how easy is it to go through life worrying about everything? How much of us are full of anxiety? That is exactly how we should feel. If there is no God, no Jesus, no Holy Spirit, no Bible, no heaven, and no hope. But, there's a but, but there is a God, a Savior, a Holy Spirit, a Bible, an eternal city, and a sure and certain hope. Amen? So we have all those things as part of our salvation. And God does us perfect, perfectly, and perfect love casts out fear. So instead of worrying, try worshiping. And a song of praise does so much to drive out the worries and woes of life. Amen? So Francis Ridder, Ridley Havergal, from, the, from a hymn or song or whatever you want to call it, called Like a River Glorious. Here's an excerpt from that, that tune. Hidden in the hollow of his blessed hand, Never foe can follow, never a traitor, never traitor stand. Not a surge of worry, not a shade of care, not a blast of hurry, touch the spirit there. So I don't know the tune in that one, so but I think I've heard that heard the title before, so but that's all I have for your first turning point of February. Coming up tomorrow in your in your groundhog day, Wednesday. February the 2nd, 2022, an episode, I believe, 153. We're going to be talking about fundamental fear, beginning with Job 3, 25. Your uh, recommended reading is Mark 4, 35 to 41. And the turning point is from Woodrow Crawl, D Woodrow, W-O-O-D-R-O-W, and his uh, last name is Crawl, K-R-O-L-L. -L. And your Bible reading is Leviticus 16 through 18. So, but I'm gonna give you a little, a little look in the camera. You have to pause your, your pause the playback if you're watching this playback. But pause the camera to look at this, um, the thing right here. That's the footnote. That's what it that's what it says. So 
So stay tuned. Stay tuned for that tomorrow's on tomorrow. And coming up tomorrow in all your passages. We're going to be in the next God video. The, it's all about God series video. With God's presence in flood and flame. For episode 618 part 1. And part 2. We're going to be talking about a humble posture. From Amy Butcher Pie. Derived from Psalm. Psalm 16. Okay. And then we'll have. Um, fundamental fear. In the turning point tomorrow night. Tomorrow evening. So. I'll get to those in just a few minutes, but you'll see all those tomorrow. So I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2022. And until tomorrow, when the glorious, your first glorious hump day Wednesday of February. And Groundhog Day as well. But until then, peace out, everybody. <whistles> Goodbye. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your terrific Tuesday evening. And come back again tomorrow for, like I said, another glorious hump day, Wednesday, and also Groundhog Day. So, but I'll look forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. But until then, goodbye.